Hello. Hello. Hello.
so i think we are good to go uh, uh hi everyone uh, i am ca sanjay agarwal so by qualification i am a post graduate chartered accountant cfa level 2 candidate and i am pursuing cpa so currently i am working with barclays uh, a name that requires no introduction uh, i am founder at finthink it's my own startup and uh, to fulfill my social responsibility i uh, i am working as a national finance manager at gramiksha i think that's enough for me for uh, let's come to the topic so finthink so what what exactly finthink is so uh, in finthink we provide financial courses to improve the financial literacy of uh, people who are into the finance industry and we provide them a forum through which they can connect with each other and they can connect with other finance professionals that are into the market so we empower the educational mission of colleges and universities in the field of finance and uh, we also help to analyze the market trends and analyze the market news to get to the benefit of re- uh, in relation to the stock market so our today's topic is uh, how we can turn out uh, the benefit and turn out the opportunity from covid-19 and this session is specially for uh, the mba students of four school of management so starting with the uh, first develop advanced and flexible management skills so, so these are some of the benefits that you get from when you do an mba so it it helps you to de- develop several management skills so some of them are leadership uh it helps you to advertise and sell your products it helps you in market uh networking build build relationships manage different situations keep the company's finances healthy and uh, create reports based on industry data if if you are into the hr it helps you to improve employee retention so these are some of the skills that you gain while you do an mba so apart from it uh it it uh, it fits your exact goals mba specializations so there are several specializations available in the market so some of them are journal management finance marketing entrepreneurship it management consulting and one of the leading and emerging uh, specialization that has recently boosted is mba in fintech so uh, fintech fintech is a financial technology it is a technology and innovation that uh, aims to compete with traditional financial methods in the delivery of financial services so it is an emerging industry that uses technology to improve activities in finance so it it helps to automate the processes and it helps to provide financial services through the medium of technology uh next is access to an extensive business network so being an mba student you have great networking opportunities you will interact with your fellow students professors and teaching staff and this context in this context uh, it will expand your business management capabilities and finally you gain access to the extensive alumni network of that particular mba program of your college your connections will give you a great overview of your business world so next uh, is that uh, mba salaries are some of the highest on the job market i think it it do not requires description but still among the benefits of the mba degree job security and high salary are some of the most important and the average income for an mba graduate is much higher than an employee with a regular masters so you can expect to earn twice as much what you would get from a regular university degree so there are several companies that hire mba such as amazon apple bain and company bcg that is boston consultancy group city group goldman sachs jp morgan mckinsey and company so these are the companies that require no introduction and definitely this will your mba degree will help you to get into this industry so in this particular slide i'll discuss what impact covid 9 what impact did covid 19 had Uh, on the indian economy so there are some of the facts and figures that i really want to discuss with you all so before that uh, can i get a quick overview from your side like what do you think what impact did the covid 19 had on uh, indian economy if if you can just write on the chat box it would be really great any anything any any impact that you think that uh, covid 19 had uh, on the indian economy in terms of any economic factor or any financial factor that you think any anything from anyone so so you can write in the chat box uh okay so 
basically uh, the economic impact of the 2019 covid pandemic in india has been largely disruptive so india's growth in the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2020 that is jan to march went down to 3.1% that's a drastic decrease in the india's growth and several uh, credit rating agencies such as the world bank and various other had initially revised india's growth for financial year 2021 with the lowest figures india has ever seen in past three decades since india's economic liberalization in the 1990s so since 1990 that is a three decades uh, we see a huge loss so i get some uh, reply from akarsh huge job loss and company shutting down yeah yeah akarsh that's that's something we are currently facing and that's uh, exactly my next next point so unemployment rose from 6.7% on 15th march to 26% on 19th april so during the lockdown an estimated 14 crore that is approximately 140 million people lost employment while salaries were cut uh, for many others so approximately out of one one out of four are being unemployment are getting unemployed during this pandemic so this is much more dangerous than the 2 lakh that is 0.2 million figure of people being infected from covid so i'll i'll uh, just show this is the graph of unemployment i uh, hope this is visible to all so you can clearly see see that in april and may the unemployment uh, rate rose uh, from uh, mere 8 to 7 to 8% to 24 to 25% that is uh, like a really a great spike so this is one of the impact that uh, had on our economy apart from this uh, after the uh, even after the announcement of uh, economic package in mid may by our honorable Fina- uh, finance minister uh, nirmala sitaraman uh, india's gdp estimates were downgraded even more to negative figures so so there are several agencies that are expecting uh, india's gdp in negative or even zero so this this signals a great recession in the coming period Uh, apart from this more than uh, 45% of of the households across the nation have uh, reported an income drop as compared to the previous num- previous year so there are some people who have lost job and there are some people who have seen who have faced decrease in their salaries uh, cut in their salaries so so in the market as per the market trend uh, 45% of the households have seen approximately 30 to 40% decrease in their salary then uh, the indian economy uh, was expected to lose over 32000 crore that is approximately 4.5 billion us dollar every day so the numbers uh, that i'm sharing is for each day during the first 21 days of complete lockdown which was declared following the covid outbreak so so 32000 crore indian rupee every day so that's a whooping amount uh, and it it had a great impact on our indian economy so apart from that on uh, particularly on 23rd March 2020 stock market in India posted their worst losses in history however on 25th March one day after a complete of 21 day lockdown was announced by the pm sensex and nifty posted their biggest gains in 11 years but still we are unable we are still struggling to recover 20% decrease that uh, uh, that was uh, seen on 23rd of March so India's overall economic package is uh, worth rupees 20 lakh crore that was recently announced that is approximately 280 billion US dollars this is 10% of India's GDP the package though announced on 12th May by the PM included previous government actions including the RBI RBI announcements so part of it was already announced and the rest was announced on the 12th of May so this is some of the impact that India had on uh, due to covid-19 so if you have anything to add on you can uh, write in the chat box so that others can get to know your view points so my next slide is uh, turning covid-19 into opportunity so approximately uh, in if if i see uh, the uh, lockdown period that came into existence uh, from march mid march uh, you had approximately 
two and a half months that 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 was already in the lockdown period and we are expecting two and a half months more in the coming lockdown period although the uh, uh, markets are open but still we expect that to the universities and colleges to get open it will take some time completely so there must be some classes going on through the virtual uh, platform but still to to get into the full fledged uh, mode it will take another 2 to 3 months so you can you can definitely think of how to turn covid-19 into opportunity so how can you make your journey in this pandemic more fruitful or more beautiful so firstly first and the foremost thing that i want to tell you is that explore your interest even if you are doing mba or if even if you are at the start of your mba or or even if you are at the verge of completing your mba you need to understand and explore your interest like what what area what field of what field you think that suits best to you as per your interest believe me it's of no benefit if you don't have interest in any particular thing and you are doing job in that particular role so for example if you have interest in stock market and you were doing some job in marketing then believe me it's of no use at a certain point of time you will feel regret and i think that that at that particular point of time you will have no other option to pursue that particular job or to switch into that particular industry only so you have you have 2.5 months more you can definitely explore your interest you can how uh, now the question comes is how can i explore my interest i i am very much confused i don't have idea like what particular interest best best suits me so for this what you can do is there are several internship opportunities available in different streams so even if you are confused you might be confused in two or three options right you can you can analyze what is the top most thing amongst those two or three options and you can pursue an internship or you can you can prepare some market trends or you can prepare some report on that particular thing and you can see that whether this particular thing suits me or not so you, first of all you need to explore your interest uh, uh twisha has uh, said that huge impact on mark, stock market losses on a on a lot of funds how we go uh, we gone 21 years back as claimed by pm as i'll come on it i'll come on it so next is uh, study market trends so what 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 is market trend so the market trend keeps on changing each and every time so the thing that was in uh, uh, that was boosting 5 to 10 years back is is no more in current period in current scenario so so every situation has a, has been a cash cow at any particular point of time and an, and a rising star at a particular point of time and after a certain point of time that particular thing like obsoletes so you need to study the market trend as well so if if your interest is in finance you need to study what market trend what is the trending thing that will pay you the highest and that suits your interest so for example as i already told that fintech is one of the budding thing one one of the most unexplored area and uh, people are really gaining it uh, through fintech for example paytm paytm is a kind of fintech which provide financial services which which provide services related to finance and it it basically clears out your several problems so it uh, what what is a startup basically each and every startup analyzes a problem and tries to identify a, the best possible solution for it so so you need to do this only in market trends so you need to analyze what all market trends are there what is the trending thing and how what are the problems faced in those particular market trend and how you can uh, resolve that particular problem so the next is enhancing uh, manage uh, communication skills so for interviews the way you talk and explain yourself is very much important and even after you crack an interview you get in the corporate world how you present yourself is one of the top most thing that needs to be uh, that needs to be improved and there is no limit to it you can you can improve your communication skills each and every day so you need to really need to work hard upon communication skills if you want to present yourself uh, to anyone next is networking and create connections so in today's world if if you have a great network believe me you won't face any problem in any area of intra, in in any field so 
uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is one of the best example to create network. For example, uh, you uh, you have a uh, you thought that your area of interest is in uh, uh, in fintech, and you think that you want to do, do your uh, your dream company is Paytm, and you want to do job in Paytm. So what you can do is you can analyze the industry data that uh, Paytm is into, and you can share your thoughts. You can add people related to LinkedIn uh, related to Paytm on LinkedIn, and you can. Uh, like share your thoughts on Paytm, share your uh, reports on Paytm, and uh, you can definitely it will it uh, it will help you to interact with people that are really working into Paytm, and you can get to know that what kind of work they are actually doing, and is it, it, does it suits your interest or not? So you can you need to analyze what kind of uh, best possible thing is for you. So the next is do internships available online. So believe me, there are plenty of internships that are available online and in each and every uh, field so if you want to do something in marketing yes it's available on marketing too if you want to do something in finance yes it's available too so there are several websites uh, even on linkedin you get to see uh, internships uh, there there are uh, other websites to intern shala and uh, yeah there are a lot more you can google out and you you will see that there are number of internships that are available so it will help you to analyze uh, what what uh, industry you want to get into so then gather interpret and create reports based on the industry data as i already already told that you if if you if you think that internships won't benefit you much you can you can start analyzing the industry data it's completely available on google you can you can pick up any industry you can pick up any 5 to 10 uh, companies you can start analyzing their uh, data you can start analyzing reports based on the publicly available data and uh, you can share your thoughts on it so work on as many projects as you can so i am sure that your uh, college um, must have uh, several uh, projects work in which you can take part so this might be an add on or the only uh, option you may have a project pro uh, preferably with an industry partners a partner is another great way of showing your intent and interest in that field so for example if you want to get into any particular uh, company and uh, you already have done some project work related to that particular industry it will be an add on so many times there would be uh, there would have an academic supervisor which can make it easier to bridge the gap between academic and practical worlds if you are doing this do it with some end impact in mind something that you can talk about don't do this just as a mechanical exercise so the next is go for extra certifications so this is very important for example you uh, you can go for different you can go for different certifications according to your subjects taken so you can go for advanced excel you can you can go for new and budding things such as financial modeling vba excel building micros if you if you are interested in stock markets you can go for fundamental analysis you can develop your own models related to technical analysis and once before you enter into the real corporate world you will get to know what kind of work they actually do you will get a edge over it so if there are two students if there are two uh, candidates for a particular position and you have a practical exposure uh, before you enter into the corporate world you will be given an edge so the next is experiment and explore so there is uh, this is where you start reveling in the opportunity you have got so an mba provides you some of the most exciting avenues to experiment and explore mind you that doesn't mean it will help you answer all the important questions of like what should i you do in your life but if you are not the enlightened one and experiment the chances of you hitting on the answer definitely go up this can take several shapes and forms depending on the opportunities so you need to explain experiment and explore and believe me this will help you a lot so the next is do as many case studies as you can and it will it helps know it, it helps you to know about the real problems faced by the businesses and how can one solve them with different techniques and methods so what do you think the business managers do in their day to day life in the corporate world so, so what are your views you can you can write in the comment section my belief is that uh, the business managers only solve the day to day problems that are being faced they interact with the workers they interact with the top management they interact with the uh, lower supervisors so so they just uh, 
they don't have to do the work they have to manage them so they try and solve each and every practical uh, problem that they face in their real life world then the next is gain relevant skills so assuming you have sorted the previous point you would also know the skills you want to have and how will you pitch yourself so so uh, once you select your area of interest once you select the industry once you select a particular company or a list of companies you will get to know that to enter into this particular company or to enter into this particular industry you will need this these particular skills that will help you to get shortlisted and that will help you to enhance your skills so apart from getting the requisite coursework which on most occasions will get you knowledge not necessary skills there are ways you can get those skills and also showcase them believe me the world is uh, more about showing rather than knowing so if you have it show it believe me if if you know some skills try to show your skills to another person or the recruiter or the uh, person in front of you so yeah next is uh, study and stay focused uh i know what you are thinking uh, the guy just asked me to experiment isn't there a self evident digital tommy here well uh, there is but mba like complex corporate jobs that you will take up is full of trade offs and apparent paradoxes let me explain while you are experimenting and juggling 20 different things it is important to have a plan by that i mean that have at least one role one job industry or company that you are working towards if possible right from the start and while this may evolve you may start straddling two boards at once it is important to have at least one solid option at one end that you are uh, working towards and doing everything you can do to make yourself irresistible for that so so i am just telling you that if you want to explore your interest find out one and just keep on exploring other things as well don't just stuck to one thing so the next is uh, reasons why i chose a startup even uh, when i thought for thought matlab uh, why i thought for fun thing even after having a decent job so you will be instilled with the value of hard work ownership and self sustainability so once you have creating created something of your own something tangible something whole something you can touch feel or use you really begin to appreciate personal ownership uh working at a startup and spreading the news of your team's product a product that you help bring into existence instills the value of that ownership and gives you pride in your work so apart from this you will learn to be frugal so working uh, at startup probably means that money is tight and uh, whether you have been showered with investor love or the founder has really been a really well the uncle the company will still be thinking of ways to do more with less so the frugality and monetary responsibility will undoubtedly bleed into your own personal life as well and you will end up finding new ways to find fulfillment other than just burning your own money so we, you will find ways where you can uh spend less and get more you will you will uh, learn how to negotiate you will learn how to tackle different people next is you will sorry uh, you will be recognized so if you work at a big company chances are that all of your hard work is going to be ignored by the boss or someone else is going to snag the credit it's the corporate life where I, where i mean smart work is more recognized than the hard work even if you are hard working and you are not able to showcase it believe me you you won't be recognized at all another is uh, more opportunity so in a startup you will find endless opportunities endless growth uh, and there will be a lot of opportunities that you think and you will be able to manage things at your own you will learn how to manage things so i have a question uh, from akarsh can you suggest the best online certification courses uh, akarsh it all depends upon your area of interest for example it it all depends on which particular industry do you want to be uh, you want to get into So net, uh, next is Chitlif Core. Can you suggest some online certification course for someone going in for finance? Uh, Chitlif, please believe me that finance is not a uh, short word or a, a short world. Uh, it's 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 very vast. You need to analyze what particular thing or what particular area uh, best suits you. Uh, international trade. 
so yeah if, if you are into your third year of uh, 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 MBA you can you should specialize in international finance rather than just finance you so you need to uh, in international finance you need to learn about international borders international trade how the international trade works import export impacts uh, you can you can really uh, if you have for example if you have interest in international trade uh, related to gst you can learn how how the gst international tax indirect taxation works in that particular field yashika fintech so yashika if you think that you want to work in fintech firstly you need to learn you need to show some passion towards fintech you need to analyze what fintech is you need to understand what all companies are there in the market uh, which are into the fintech industry then arti rathor investment so arti if you think that you want to go into the investment world uh, there are a lot more fields available in investment for example even if i take a narrow word that is a fundamental analysis even that particular thing has a lot of streams available so firstly first and foremost thing is to analyze your area of interest so for example if if someone has a uh, uh yashika has said that she wants to go into the valuation so you can definitely learn the vba excel you can definitely learn about financial modeling so valuation is uh, valuation of a company uh, is uh, like valuing a company through its fundamentals so you can go for fundamental analysis course you can go for financial modeling through which uh, there are several uh, techniques and methods such as uh, uh, dcf model such as pv model pe model there are se- there are a number of models through which you can analyze uh, what all uh, what all methods are there and you can analyze how to value a company uh, will learning foreign languages help me i am going for mba in international business definitely so this is so so one thing i am trying to explain is that anything you have and the other person don't have doesn't have will bring an edge to you over his over him so uh, if if you are into an international business and you are learning another language that will be an add on if you if you try to work in that particular country so yeah coming to our next slide uh how to make most from these two uh, this two years tenure so i believe uh, most of you are from third semester or fourth semester or or uh, most of you must have entered just entered the mba program mba curriculum so there are several uh, aspects that you need to work upon so focus on career experimentation so go beyond the career exploration uh, offered through recruiting so during the recruitment process you will have access to top companies that will try to give you a sense of what it's like to work in different fields and functions however business schools offers many other opportunities to learn about new roles and industries and the chance to actually use and experiment with the skills required in a variety of roles so classes clubs and extracurricular experiences will let you engage in real consulting marketing and ex- uh, entrepreneurial engagements just to name a few so if you take advantage of these resources at your college you can leave after 2 years already having left the roles of marketer banker consultant and more so they can uh, then you can make the best decision about your career path and your future so then is make the most of the mba card you can uh, you can more easily get informational interviews obtain data attend conferences and open more doors than when you are in the professional world so so this is called the peer peer knowledge so uh, if you are in the mba college uh, the people near you must be exploring and even you are exploring much more than once you enter into, into the professional or corporate world so make the most of the mba card then is the benchmark against yourself not your uh, peers so this is very critical and very important point it is critical because that you benchmark your success based on where you were when you when, uh, when you started your program rather than measuring yourself against your peers this will uh, create a like uh, lag between you or you can say it will discourage you uh, so instead create a benchmark against yourself next is uh, step out and take risks 
so this is very important as i said that you have nothing to lose at this moment you are into your mba college you don't have much responsibilities you have nothing to lose you should step out and take risk take classes that are outside of your comfort zone attend meetings for clubs you never consider joining and introduce yourself to students you don't know so pushing your boundaries can serve several purposes both academically and socially uh next is finding an activity that gives you energy and make time to do it regularly so so what i do each and every day my day to day routine includes 30 minutes reading financial news so this helps me to analyze what's going into uh, what's going on in the world so i get to know uh the news related to india i i read news related to india i read news related to the world uh, i read news related to economics so this helps me understand what's what what is the market trend currently uh next is go on informational interviews to go to get ahead so don't rely solely on on campus corporate presentations for your internship or job search instead use informational interviews to narrow the scope of your search gather information that will give you a leg up in interview there are several mock interviews that take place in your in your college there are several mock interviews that are off campus you should go and uh, try to brush up your skills try to before before you uh, go for an actual interview try to brush up your skills go for mock interviews and brush up your skills and uh, build a network of contacts that will actively work to help you. you you need to really work you really need to work hard on your networking skills then is establish a long term career goal so having a long term career goal makes it easier to determine determine what summer internship and ultimately what first post mba job to pursue so you need to have a long term career goal next says continue to pursue your, your interest and relationship outside of the program so there is a lot going on in every mba program class work networking interviewing clubs social events and more while you will meet some amazing people and have exciting opportunities in your program don't forget to maintain your relationships with your pre mba friends and families this community from your pre mba life is filled with people that support you care about you and maybe even help you to get into the graduate school so these relationships will help you maintain perspective and optimism through challenging times while they will also celebrate the success along your mba journey so you should also make sure to maintain your individual interests and hobbies this can help relieve the stress of pursuing a graduate degree and strengthen your sense of uh, self while you grow and change with the program so these are some of the things that i really wanted to discuss um, do you have any questions for me any anything related to particularly related to finance or because i think i, I am i am more uh, uh relatable to it so while learning foreign languages uh, will will learning foreign languages help it i think i answered this how beneficial is a student exchange program during mba uh yes i am sorry i don't have much idea about student exchange program but definitely it will it will give you an uh, exposure when when you uh, when you do a dual degree it's it's kind of a dual degree i guess please i guess newspapers and magazines to read so there are several uh, business newspapers that you can uh, study so i basically i have installed several apps such as uh, economic times the economist bloomberg et uh, investing.com in shorts and through this i keep on keep on uh, brushing up my Uh, knowledge and the latest news so any questions from anyone uh which certification i can go for to know more about the stock market tusha you can uh, you can go for the uh, fundamental analysis you can go for the uh, technical analysis you can go for B- vba excel through which we build models you can go for uh, financial modeling through which we uh, we uh, make the models we make the valuations and uh, yeah that's that's i think that's uh, enough for uh, for for a quick startup uh any tv channel for businesses you can if if you are comfortable with hindi you can go for z business if if uh, if you are comfortable with english you can uh, you can watch uh, bloomberg you can uh, go for cnbc uh 
guys i think you can quickly ask your questions in the chat box i'll uh, i'll quickly revert uh will it be helpful to do any financial courses like cfa or crm or should i just focus on uh, my mba so yeah arti this is one of the beautiful question uh, so uh, while i was doing ca uh, i was confused like whether should i pursue any other course along with it or not so at that particular point of time i thought that how many chartered accountants are there in the market so uh, then i got to know that there are approximately uh, there are approximately uh, four to five lakh chartered accountants in the market and each year we get approximately 10 20 to 25 thousand chartered accountants each year so then i uh, i gave it a thought that what will make me a uh, stand out from those particular people then i then that particular thing gave me a thought that why not to do uh, any other professional course along with ca just just to make my degree more beautiful so then i gave it a thought of cfa and uh, currently i'm pursuing cfa level 2 and uh, since uh, uh, i have a dream of going out and i have a passion to work for international companies so i am also pursuing cpa so yes definitely if if you go for cfa or crm uh, it will be an add on it will and and it will definitely help you to get into the finance industry in a more uh, with a more package so i hope this the this has clarified your question uh, okay so meanwhile uh, i have shared my contact details you can definitely add me upon linkedin and uh, definitely ask any of your questions if if it's related to anything you can definitely ask me up you can ping me up you can whatsapp me uh, and i would urge you to use linkedin uh, to the most you can add different uh, you can add people uh, of your dream company and you can ask their experiences how they uh, how they feel working in that particular industry and what what is it uh, how how, uh, how that particular person uh, what are the day to day responsibilities of that particular person so it will it will help you to understand better and it will help you to analyze uh, your area of interest so i think no more questions are there so thank you arunima uh, for giving me an opportunity to present myself and uh, definitely if you have any queries you can ask me up you can ping me up and uh, hopefully we will conduct more sessions with four school of management to uh, clarify your queries and to boost up your skills and definitely you can go up to my page on facebook or insta or youtube you can subscribe to our channel uh, fin thing where we continuously uh, uh make videos and we we share our knowledge related to stock market and finance mm, yep so i think that's enough for the day and uh, okay okay guys uh, thank you so much for attending today's session please uh, let me know how how was the session you can write in the comment section or my uh, i have uh, shared my contact details it's not, uh, my mobile number is 9796424000 you can definitely ping me up and uh, you can ask me any queries and you can tell me how how was the session thank you so much for watching bye